Hey, welcome back everybody. It's me, KB. So, in this video, I want to show you guys what's new in Windows 10 version 2004. Yes, 2004 is a new version of Windows 10. So, just like the other feature updates, this is the first major update of 2020. And uh, the code name of this update is actually 20H1. So, this is the 20H1 update, aka uh, 2004 update so let me show you here so right now if you check your PC if your PC is up to date uh, you can see here this version is 2004 so right now your PC might be in uh, 1909 so this is the new version which will come out in late April 2020 or early May so yeah just be ready for this. So in this video, I'm just going to show you what's new in this update. Okay. So there are a few crazy features, maybe, I don't know, but yeah, there are some changes, some improvements and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's just get into it. So first thing what you will notice is that just in case if you don't use Cortana, then maybe you will not notice. But if you use Cortana in Windows 10, then there is a new, brand new, totally new update in Cortana. So if you try to open the Cortana, you will see a new window, new application pops up. Okay. So it's not integrated with the menu anymore. So before this, we had a Cortana, like it opens up like a start menu, like just like we search. It just, it just do that. Okay. It's a fixed place. But now the Cortana is a separate application, aka software. Okay. So yeah now here you can do the chit chat if you want with the cortana so as you can see i have tested this how's the weather and she answered me so yeah if you like cortana i think this is a great update for the cortana users and uh, yeah reason being cortana like this now cortana can get a update before uh, any major update like Cortana is now a application which can be updated at any time which is a good thing all right I think the second major change in my opinion is in the task manager okay there are quite few new features added to the task manager so if you open up the task manager and go to the performance tab here you can actually see what type of disk you have before this it didn't tell you like you had a SSD now it recognizes the SSD as the SSD so you can say I'm using the SSD sadly I can't show you the other feature like uh, it can actually show you the GPU temperature so it's in a virtual machine so there is no GPU but if you have GPU listed here it will also tell you the uh, you know show you the temperature of GPU Good thing i think yeah <laughs> great feature and the another thing another big feature in my opinion is the tablet mode there are changes quite a lot actually so in tablet mode you can see at the taskbar at the bottom you can see the icons are now a little bit more distance like in distance so there will be no uh you know mistake while you click you know they are now a little bit there is a space in between icons in tablet mode just in case if you use okay i never use tablet mode because i don't have the tablet you know i just have a laptop uh, and there is no touch but if you have a touch and you want to use the tablet mode that tablet mode is now improved in windows 10 2004 uh, version 2004 okay not 2004 like real year <laughs> okay so yeah i don't know i never use tablet mode and uh, yeah there are spaces in at least in task manager so you don't get a accidental clicks okay so now let's just get back to the normal windows because that's what we use usually you know and if you go to the settings i should have activated this window so i could show you actually so in settings there are many changes i can actually show you the screenshot just like this one 
<laughs> okay i have it activated my windows so it won't show up so there is a your profile picture and other things so i can't actually see but you can see that in settings uh, there will be a badge type of thing like you'll have your account name and everything so sadly i haven't activated my windows so it won't show up without activation it won't show up so you can see in the picture okay it's a virtual machine so i don't even have to activate it so that's that so uh, there is a new edge browser as you know so as of now i don't see it pre-installed in windows 10 version 2004 but uh, i believe they might pre-install when the actual public release happens okay as of now it's not a thing and i don't know it's confirmed to think or not but uh, since they have the new browser and if they want it to promote then i think they will push the new edge browser in here and i don't know what's gonna happen with the old edge browser which is this one okay you know the icon okay <laughs> so i don't know if they're gonna remove this or keep it i think as long as i know i think they will keep it at least for this update i don't know about the future update but at least for this update they will keep this i don't know why so i think that's it there are many improvements as i said including like if you go into the settings this settings you'll find new changes many new changes because microsoft is trying to include almost all the settings in this windows settings they want to include as many as settings from the old control panel to this window settings so you use so you know users don't have to go to the control panel and do the changes for example i'm going to show you one setting that i have spotted which is the mouse settings okay if you go here and uh you know if you go to the adjust mouse and cursor size here you can change these settings from here okay you don't have to go to the control panel settings okay it's properties everything is now included here you can change the pointer size and everything and you can also change the cursor speed i think this is the new thing they have what they have added so this is what i'm talking about there are many mini mini changes or tiny tiny changes in settings which you may have to discover by yourself as you use this you know you'll find it it's not a big deal but you get the idea something like this will happen in settings you'll find many tiny tiny settings and uh, yeah i think that's it hope you enjoyed it and one more thing if you want to try the windows 10 version 2004 before the release then give me a second i'm gonna show you how to get it okay all right to try the windows 10 2004 version uh, you have to visit this site once you're here you need to actually sign in with your microsoft account without that you can't get that iso file okay so let me sign in do the same thing if you want to get it okay okay i am signed in logged in okay once you have logged in this site will look something like this don't worry i will put link in the description you can go there and you know do this just like me so scroll down until you see select addition but you know this is a preview build which means it's not a public release so there might be some problem or something like that so i don't recommend you guys to install it in your main pc if you want to try it on virtual machine you can do that good thing to try out you know it won't hurt your pc so once you reach here select addition just select that and here you can choose whichever version you want to download so windows 10 insider preview fast and slow they both have the 19041 build so you can download either of them so i downloaded actually slow which is more stable than the fast build so let's say you want to download the slow just click on that and confirm okay and it will take some time and choose product language english i think <laughs> maybe if you use different a language you can choose another one english okay continue and uh, just wait actually it's been 30 seconds so maybe one minute okay you don't have to wait long but you know just minute okay now it's done 
so here you can download the iso file 32 bit 64 bit just click on it and the download will start you can see at the bottom the download is started now you can install it wherever you want in virtual machine in your pc so if you want to use this as a main windows 10 then what i recommend you guys to do is back up your files and everything and then do the clean install because this is a preview build and uh, you don't want to mess up with your actual public release windows 10 okay so if you just in case you know i, I know some people are mad led so some people might want to install this on main pc so even if you want nothing is gonna go wrong but just to be safe do the clean install don't update okay just do the clean install and you'll be good to go that's it guys hope you enjoyed it i will put link in the description for this site you can go there and download and hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye